All right, guys, and welcome back to some more of Ark Genesis. Although you see me here on the island for a very important reason. First things first, I need to repair my gear from the previous episode because wow, did I damage a lot of it. And uh, we hit pull for repair rule and repair all the things. Oh no, only some of it apparently. There we go. Now everything's fully repaired. And the reason why I am here is because if we, ooh, naked. If we search Heliocoprion, uh, Wait, Heli... He he Helicoprion, there you go. I'm gonna grab that. That's not the thing I wanted to search for, actually. It is the Ratfish Treats. I uh, found this by scanning all the way down, all the way up to level 91. The Little Ratfish Treats. This specifically blended pet food is a favourite for the Helicoprion. Containing heavy mixes of the finest cephalopods, it provides Helicoprion with the balanced nutrition they need. And with a taste they can't resist, they'll warm up to you in no time. Be careful of the cloud of ammonite bile and other toxins that can occur when they chomp into these little treats. Calamari is so divine. They're actually quite expensive. Requires ammonite bile, bee honey, and two so tentacles. And I have the horrible feeling I don't have any ammonite bile here because I left it all in the Genesis space. Um, hopefully I have some. So if I make some ratfish, oh wait, maybe in a cooker. <gasps> if I can make it in a tech cooker, then that'll mean that I can, no. Oh. Wait, oh, it's probably a chem bench thing. I was thinking in the cooker I could make double the amount. Actually, I think I still can in the chem bench, which is, here you go, the laboratory. Ratfish? No, wait, hold on, where do you make it? Is it in my inventory? Oh, that's boring. But I can make some. Can I make it 10? I can. Ooh, so we're gonna be taming some new things today. And for these, I'm actually gonna need to tame multiple of them. All right then, gang, it's time to rock and roll. And I've actually decided to get my Dipicolas for this journey because it's just going to be nice and speedy. I plan to try and find quite a few Helicoprions today, preferably all high levels, but there's a very particular reason, I think, why I'm going to want to have, you know, lots of different ones. So, let's make our way here then. Oh, is that another one? Oh, is that the same one? Oh, yeah, that is the same one. Right then, so if you missed the previous episode, I stumbled upon a 150. Helicoprion, which I just cannot say no to. And while I am obviously using my Diplo for uh, my Diplocolus, <laughs> not to be confused with other Diplos, while I am using that for travel reasons, are you... I don't trust you. You just went out of the water. That's terrifying. I will be using my sharks for the actual, you know, defending of the uh, Helicoprion, since the ratfish description of attracting or, you know, producing ammonite bile is a little bit concerning, to say the least. So, never done this before. Let's see what, oh dear. Yeah, okay, it it gave me ammonite vital effect. Oh, and I can't see my thing and I'm blinded. Oh, it gave me all the effects, didn't it? That's kind of toxic. <laughs> I'm glad I got my shark there, so it's speedy. It can bleed. Um, just gonna hope that nothing attacks the helicopter in itself. It looks like it's, being, it's fine and being left alone, so I think the effect is only on myself. Which, I have to say, is very forgiving. Thank you, Garuga. Because if it blinded you... In fact, wait, hold on. No, yeah, it is rage. It's rage and blind. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, if it blinded you and put the rage effect on the helicopter in as well at the same time, that would have been cruel. But this I can deal with. And my shark is doing decent damage. Again, considering these all ex-dinos. I should remind, um, again, since the previous episode, that I have slightly buffed tamed ex-dino damage. Nowhere near as strong as wild ones. Wild ones are definitely stronger. But uh, it should just be enough to kind of like make it uh, a bit more fun for people, I hope. Wow, everything's attacking me. Rude. Oh, that turtle's really cute. It's got like a really vibrant blue shell. Oh no, I'm gonna want these as well at some point, but <laughs> clearly not today. Okay, well, since I'm being attacked anyway, I may as well just swim away from that. How fast is the Archelon? Yeah, it's just decent, but it's just okay. I can, I can pace this. So since I'm tanking this stupid thing anyway, let's get all the way over here. Set you to passive. Let's come all the way back. Can I give you a second feed already? Is the big question. No, oh yes, yes, I did. Good, good. I actually did give it a second feed. So now that I've got the effect all over again, <laughs> let's carry on munching. Is the basilisk gonna attack me? 
Oh, but there's a bunch of sharks in the Archelon. That's good for me. All right, okay. This is a uh, acceptable situation. Well, I wonder, it's been 30 seconds. So what if I were to attempt another feed? No, it doesn't work like that. You, you can't fault me for trying. But now that the buff has fallen off, let's try again. Ooh, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. No, damn. Well, this is really quite the horde of dinosaurs I've amassed here. Yeah, I think getting the shark was the right call. Wow, level five. That's probably gonna be like the first level five I've seen in this entire map. Oh no, look at this. The Megalodons are just now like almost defending the Helicoprion. This reminds me of like, some proper um, like real life marine activity or behavior. They're actually just surrounding it. It's kind of like the, the way the mantas surround the basilos, you know, just waiting for their food. Cheeky buggers. Oh, it's gonna make it a little bit harder to refeed. Okay, I think the Megalodons are distracted on the Archelon. Let's turn around. Go for another quick sneaky feed. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Oh god, where's my shark? There it is. <laughs> this is interesting. This is this is quite a fun um, style of taming. Very safe until it's very dangerous. Oh, that was a quick feed. Oh, that made a freaky sound. And we eat. I swear, there are just more sharks spawning. Like every time I kill a shark, a new one spawns. So there's five sharks here now. Six. Six megalodons all just hovering around a helicoprion. <laughs> that is really concerning. I mean, it's it's not a problem for the helio, thankfully. They don't damage the helio. But they definitely are seeming to gravitate towards it. That's that's really interesting. I don't like the way that megacalon just came straight towards me. I think it wants the fish. Are you taming? No. Okay, it just came over and ate the fish. That was uh that was ominous and interesting. I do wonder if I had a hazard suit, would I still get the effect of this? That would probably be worth testing because, I mean, this isn't a problem to deal with. I just don't really like the lack of vision, you know? Time for maybe the final feed? Oh, not quite, very close. Okay, now this should be the final feed as you know, as, as soon as it's ready. <laughs> so, out of curiosity, oh, there you go. Ah, let's just quickly put you away. That's nice. That's good to know. So, I didn't get the effect again on the final bite, that final feed. Thank you, Guru. That's very kind of you after that experience. So, the thing I was curious about, I was about to check its stats before tame, but that is fine. Doesn't really matter. Uh, post tame, uh, there it is. Post tame. Not bad, but you notice that particular stat is on a crafting skill stat. And what's really interesting about the crafting skill stat is that it is a completely bonus extra stat that doesn't seem to replace anything else. Unless I'm mistaken, it's got food, hunger, oxygen, stamina, weight, melee, speed, or I can just compare it to something to the right of it. Yeah, there you go, it's an entire bonus stat, which is really, really cool. Now, uh, the bonus stat is at 45%. I know I wanted to be as high as possible, and it did actually get points into it, which is very interesting. So it does actually level up points, or like have stat points, if I remember correctly. I'm really not sure, but if I remember correctly, uh, the whole crafting skill stat isn't something you can breed in. I think with Gatchas you can breed it in, but with the Helicoprion, I think Garuga made it that you couldn't breed it in. So, oh wait, I can't remember. <laughs> I'll have to look it up to confirm, but either way, I'm pretty sure I'm going to want a few of these. So then, let's summon our brand new lad, give him a saddle, which I just crafted up while I was here. There you go. And let's get like a nice good look at you. I don't know why I summoned it in here, let's just go right out again because I can't see crap in there. I will finish this base, I promise. But it's been a very, oh, very eager episode. This looks cool. Oh, I love the patterns, and this is the uh, this is the X version. So uh, I'm not actually sure what the original one looks like, but we'll have that introduced to the other servers uh, basically as soon as possible. Damn, this is a really cool looking shark. I think shark definitely a really cool creature, nonetheless. So 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 so. Um, I it's got two uses, or a couple of very very important uses. I don't think it's really much of a combat team, but I will test a combat too. It's an X creature, so it should be buffed with my combo settings. I'm gonna quickly make, uh, not in here, in the, let's make a smithy real quick. <laughs> Hold on. 
So I want to quickly make myself uh, two hatchets, two regular primitive metal hatchets. I'm going to move everything from you into you while I'm doing it. And we're just going to wait for those two to finish. There we go then. So two primitive metal hatchets. From the upgrade station to which I've got grinding nerfed, I get one, okay, so just one of each material. Bearing in mind it costs, I think, eight. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, the hide, I got a little bit less. Let's say about like one eighth of the materials back, which is, you know, fair, especially with how early a game you can get the upgrade station. And the fact they can double its procs, but this is all like late um, <laughs> information we knew early on. Now, the Helicoprion, Conversion success rate. Um, so first of all, I want this number to be as high, as close to 100% as possible. Unlike the Gacha, where the sweet spot's about 60%, I want this to be as high as possible. I'm hoping it manages to grind. Oh wait, how do you do it? Uh, select item to break down. There you go. I'm hoping it manages to grind. I can't do crafted items, of course. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, guys, forgive me. Um, I know that it can't it can't grind crafted gear. I know that, but I still got carried away. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just spawn in. It's just a regular primitive metal hatcher. Throw the other one on the floor. It's fine. Let's convert. Uh, let's break that down. And what I want to see is how much resources I will get from this if it even manages to break down a primitive item. <laughs> it should. I, that is so unlucky, it failed a primitive item. Okay, let's just, uh, hold on, hold on. And that sound, but that sound, I can't wait for other people to experience that sound. That was awful, but how cool does that look, by the way? Does that look really, really cool? A bit noisy. Bro. Bro, it's 45.5%, it, it can't. It can't be that difficult. And I just noticed that Saddle's a smithy. That's cool. Come on, bro. I believe in you. Come on. You can, you can do it. It's a primitive hatchet. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it. I swear to God. Oh, there you go. He did it. It's a blueprint. I didn't want a blueprint. But I got more. And uh, hey, there you go. Ooh. Interesting. So what that means is that this can grind all of the ungrindable uh, Genesis items. Well, actually, let's double check that real quick. So it's so good to know. It actually produces more resources than um, the upgrade station. Though the upgrade station got a chance to proc and double, the Helicoprion will give more than that baseline. But the grinder will give more than everything else. The, the grinder is the best one by far. But the reason why I'm going through all this hassle... Let's get something crap like a torch. That's Mastercraft. <laughs> Okay, let's get something crap like a, a a ramshackle raptor saddle. Surely, surely. You know what? I think let's just bloody level it first. Let's go check out the damage. Not a bad amount of damage. I've noticed, by the way, that the helicopter on turns based on where you're aiming. So if I just left click now, how cool is that? That is so nice. Really, really responsive. Oh, jellyfish. Oh, come on. You're a... What? You're immune to Ammonites and Tussos, but you're not immune to Jellyfish? Okay, come back. Yeah, we're not we're not having that, mate. Uh, hold on, let's just quickly get the Battle out for a real quick second. <laughs> I am dealing with a bloody Jellyfish, screw that. Oh, the right-click stunned! It's a Barry stun! No way! It's a freaking Barry stun! Hold on. If I just pause and do it again. Oh, okay, it's got a cooldown. It felt like it stunned it. Uh, maybe it's because I'm not aiming towards it. Hold on, if I just like to go all the way back and then we do a little flip like this, and now we stun. Oh, well, that's weird. It did it before. Maybe it's got an internal cooldown or something. Uh, either way, that shark hurts. So, <laughs> you know, I'm going to do it. Can I do weapons? No, I can't. I'm just going to do that. What level are you then? You are level 150. Well, I will say that when you are able to stand still or float still, and just rotate around to hit your target. That is really, really super nice. But my god, you did a primitive saddle. That took a lot of damage. Right. 
done all that. Uh, let's, oh, yeah, there you go, a bunch more levels. So now we've got to be 49.5% conversions. So as you can see, it's going to require a bit of leveling up to get even close to 100%. And if you're going to grind, like, you know, your really good best, um, best loot that you found, pre-made loot, if you're going to grind it, you sure as hell want 100%, don't you? <laughs> that would suck to lose, but it would be such a good gamble. <laughs> flee, Yamanite, flee, you know what's coming. Too bad I can't hit you at all anywhere. Wait, where'd you go? So the main thing I'm really noticing is that this is definitely not a combat team. That's doing bonus damage to the Ammonites. This is not a combat team at all. So I'm kind of glad though because it means it's a lot easier to decide what to level it into. 150 Europe thread? Calm down, mate. Oh, 30 back poles though. Okay, thank you. Okay then. Safely back home in this absolutely terrible clump again we'll be fixing it as, as soon as i get the time to <laughs> right first things first then uh how much did i loot from all of that i got uh 62 black pearls 200 amulet bile i've definitely already paid for the um all of the ratfish treats well i got spent 300. yeah i'm glad i made 30 treats in the end because it took seven to tame that 150. So if I wanted to get like a whole bunch of these, then that was really nice actually. Now then, like I said earlier, like I wanted to find out, the Ramshackle Raptor Saddle, using a crappy cheap item, not really for the success rate, but mainly if it can even grind it in the first place, and it can. So there we go, then we have our um, solution to the Genesis uh, ungrindable items, which is great because it means I don't have to buy it by. I don't have to download an entirely new mod for it, which I think a lot of people are going to be very happy about. We have options. Ah, uh, what a surprise. It broke the saddle. <laughs> and that's why I use a cheap crappy one. That's a 50% chance, by the way, to fail. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Level, oh, for God's sake, 145 mega cannon. 120, 120. <laughs> 120 helicoprion. You know what? I'll give that one a go then because it's a male. Wait, I already have a male, don't I? Uh, never mind. Let's try find a female. Yeah, thankfully, these guns seem to be very reliably found near the surface. Uh, that's a 115 male. Okay, uh, don't need. But again, they seem to be very easy to find, which is good considering just how vast the ocean biome is and how deep some of the crevices are. Yeah, I'm glad I can find it like this. In fact, there's another one already, level 75. That one male! <laughs> Give me a female one! Oh, oh, Hilo Coprion, you are level 100 female. Okay, a uh, little bit disappointing, but I will give this one a go. Because I really want to find out if uh, how breeding works. As I, I did test it before, but I've actually forgotten since. So I want to know like how exactly it works. If the stat gets passed down, if it's um, immune or whatever, exempt. Sorry. Also, hazard. Hazard gear doesn't give you the effect. Oh my god. Well, I, regular aggro, of course. Oh my god. I love that, and because it's the ocean biome, the oxygen meter is just like so extended. The downside is that now I don't have my timer, because about roughly every minute and a half I was able to feed it, now I won't know. <laughs> it's fine, there's, there's worse problems, trust me. And there's another one. Oh, it works consistently, I'm so happy about that. I, I like the taming, I really, really do, but if I can make it, you know, without the blinding effect, why not? So it also turns out that the ratfish kibble take 50 hunger. In other words, as soon as it depletes 50 hunger, I know I can do another feed immediately, even without the little uh, debuff timer. And you can tell by the hunger within the taming tracker. So I've just been sitting back, watching that, waiting it tick, you know, minus 50, and instantly fed. And this should be the final feed, and there we go. So wait, that was actually really nice, quick and easy. So then, uh, immediate thing I want to find out is how many points did I get for that one? She has 30, wow, 13 points. That is really low, even for a level 100 or 149. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, hold on. There is another one right there. You are level 80 female. Okay. I should probably start purging soon, actually. 
So I just swam past the level 80. There's a level 100 male right there. Level, uh, no, hold on. This one right here is 115 female. Of course I find you after. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Now that I know that I can just casually feed it without aggroing everything, I really don't mind going for another one. Oh, and she's like a really cool bronze cut, like bronze copper. <gasps> that looks really cool. And it's another female, so that'll just give me more breeding options if it turns out that breeding needs is viable. You know, I'm seriously starting to think that every time I feed it, it actually is spawning megalodons because every single feed I will turn around and there is precisely three megalodons on my Moser every single time. Okay, look, check this out. I'm gonna look towards my Moser. I'm zoomed out. I'm gonna feed it quickly. It spawned! It actually spawns in sharks! Garuga, you cheeky fuck! It actually spawns in sharks. I am impressed. Oh, it's... They're not even X. Right, that was, uh, it was really obvious. They're, they're not even X sharks. I could have figured that one out a very, very long time ago if I paid attention. Okay. An anglerfish has broke into my pen. What level are you? Are you at least worth taming? You're 145. You're worth taming. Okay, well, sure, since you're there. Although I think I did just do a bunch of damage to it, so I might actually die. But uh, it, it'd, be, be, it'd be rude not to try. No, it died. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Alrighty, gang, let's look at the results then. So, our current Helicoprions have crafting stats of 13, 20, and 30. These ones have 30, 30, <laughs> and 30. Okay, I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Awesome. Okay, good to know then. I highly doubt, yeah, 45%. Um, I highly doubt that imprint will have any effect on these. So since they're 30, I may as well just test on the adult then, the um, the male parent, since it's, you know, the same stat. <laughs> good to know then that they are actually inherited. So you probably could, mu you could probably mutation breed them. Oh my god. People on my server are going to go mental for this, I can tell you already. Well, in any case, so this is, this is the highest one. What I'm going to do then, you probably already guessed it, I'm going to quickly summon a bunch of baby characters which will probably float to the ceiling. Let's just put you here instead. Yep, there they go. <laughs> They're ascending. <laughs> so then, we got you, and you, and you, and you. There we go. Uh, from that, I'm being pulled into. A, oh, I'm being pulled. Ah, I'm getting it out. <laughs> For goodness sake. Uh, um. Ooh, that is brutal to level. 70%, that's all. <sighs> oh my goodness. I was gonna try. And, in fact, how many, how many levels did I just give it? Uh, let's just quickly do that real fast. That was. 50 levels. And I think the cap is like 75 or 80 for a dinosaur. So in other words, I'm not getting 100%. It's just not happening. Right. Well, I was going to experiment, like gamble like a really high quality item. I guess I still could actually. Let's do you want to gamble a 70% item, uh, like 70% 70, 70 of chance on an item. What could we try use? I I would like to have a, some like hazard blueprints. Uh... Uh, <laughs> I'm really not sure. Oh, that Archie saddle. My god, that's actually, that's a, that'd be an amazing blueprint. Okay, here's the thing actually. I unironically don't have a Deodon blueprint. So, do I have like a better than, uh, a be better than Apprentice Deodon anywhere? Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's just try, let's go all in. Let's try the 178. All right, guys, are we feeling lucky? Are we feeling lucky? Oh, wow. We actually are feeling lucky. Oh. Well, there you go then. I finally have a dead on blueprint. And actually, really quite an affordable one. It's not the hide is quite expensive, but the metal is very, very cheap. Um, wow. God, barely any resources for it. Wow, the resources are weird on this. They really don't make much sense. But the ability to make blueprints is like, wow, just incredible. Okay. 
I'm definitely gonna need to find myself some, or like find just better stats and get 100% one as soon as possible. But I will wrap it up here then. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed yourselves. And as always, I'll catch you all again next time. Cheers.